Microsoft has partnered with Qualcomm to run the Windows PC version on Qualcomm's ARM architecture. So, in this video we are going to see Windows 10 running on Qualcomm's 835 SoC. So my name's Andrew, I work for marketing for Qualcomm, and we're showing the mobile PC demo here. And the Microsoft keynote, and it was announced that Asus, HP, Lenovo are making amazing devices with the Snapdragon and Windows 10. That's right. So we're, these are the, and what we're showing here is we have, uh, the, for the first time, Windows 10 running on Snapdragon 835 to give people a real feel for the actual experience they can expect on those devices. So right here is just a demonstration of uh, approximately what the difference might be. Like this would be an Intel device. It's uh, nearly double the size compared to a Snapdragon 835 is just much more optimized, more compact. Well, what we're doing is we're going for, from discrete components, what you see in, our competing, in the competing platforms, to the SOC that Snapdragon has. So things like uh, the modem and GPS and, uh, and uh, well, other components in there, like the Wi-Fi, those, those are all built into the SOC instead of being discrete components. So it takes up much less space on the PCB allowing for what we're estimating about 30% reduction in PCB size. The big advantage there is thinner, lighter devices and bigger batteries for longer battery life. So these are under construction right now being optimized in very, very thin laptops that are gonna consume less power, run long on a battery. So the design that we're talking about, or the designs that we're talking about with our partners are, are the thin and light uh, fanless designs. These would be uh, two-in-ones and, and uh, convertibles, detachables, that type of device. And you're running Windows 10 right now. It's a full Windows, and you're running on a development device. This is the Snapdragon 30, uh, 835 development device, right? Right, this is it's one of our engineering platforms. We use it for demos periodically when we need to connect uh, for the uh, modem demos, but this is just one of our development platforms that we're using for this demo. And so this connection to the LTE, so you can demonstrate that this is going to be LTE, mm -hmm. gigabit LTE. Gigabit LTE, yep. So let's, let's check it out. This looks like Windows. It's real, it's Windows. It looks like Windows because it is Windows. So uh, we'll I'll go through just some of the activities here. We do, we're doing some productivity and we're showing the ecosystem. We do some video streaming to show the connectivity. You have all these apps basically open yeah, at these, the same these time. Are, these are open right now. So actually. multitasking. Yep. Yeah. All the UI of Windows 10 is, is fully speed up, optimized. You're still working. I mean, it's coming yep. by the end of the year, right? Yeah, yeah. That's when we're expecting first launches. Uh, so this is all. I mean, it's, it's like I say, it's simple. This is this is Windows on ARM, but this is regular office applications. I have all of my capabilities. There's essentially nothing here that uh, that is different from you know any any office application experience. So here you're doing some of the advanced stuff that you, it's possible to do in Excel and uh, this is the x86 version of Excel. It's not an ARM optimized version. Right, right. yeah, this is this is Win32 application running through emulation. So as I go through this you can pay close attention and see that it's very high performance even though we're running on emulation. So this emulator has got to be pretty amazing and impressive how it's done. Like uh, there's all kinds of optimizations uh, to not use too much processing power, but make things fast. I mean, there's always going to be a little bit of a performance hit when you're when you're running on emulation. This but is the PowerPoint. You yeah, copy PowerPoint. from Excel to PowerPoint. Copy from Excel to PowerPoint. We can pull up multiple windows, so I can bring in Word. We can copy from Word into PowerPoint. So I'm just building a presentation here, just to show some of the capabilities. With Word and PowerPoint, it's exactly the same as it is with Excel. This is just. Office. This is now. There's nothing special or different here. It has all the functionality that people already depend on, and we're just running it on uh, on Snapdragon. So this is uh, this is full Windows 10. It's not Windows 10 S. Correct. It's not only Universal apps. Correct. It's any right. any app. Any application. Well, any any uh, Universal or Win32 applications. Right now, the emulation, the current release of the emulation, doesn't support the Win64 uh, applications currently. currently. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean most of the apps are Win32, right? Right. Uh, on Windows. I mean almost almost all applications are Win32 or they have 64-bit and 32-bit versions and so then you just do the 32-bit version. And you could just download any .x and just install. Any. Yeah. So actually we'll we'll, we'll show in, in just a, just a second here. So I'm just finishing up that productivity. I just emailed emailed the app, the uh, file to myself. But now let's go out uh, to the internet and we'll go find a file here, actually we'll just do this 7-zip. Okay. 
So you so just I'm, download? So I'm just gonna download the 32-bit x86 application now. 7-zip and this application was created with no knowledge of, of Windows on ARM or Snapdragon and Windows collaborating. So we just download and install. It runs even the security scan like Windows yeah, would? Yeah, still runs security scan because it is Windows. So it's got all this anti-malware stuff running in the background, all the all stuff of, they usually do? All of, all of the tools and, uh, and capabilities of Windows are in this, because again, it's Windows. So I've installed nice. it. And then it's the a real app, you can do everything with it. Yep. It's, it's going to be very, very interesting to see uh, how the performance is with all kinds of apps. Hopefully later you'll be showing more and more apps. Oh, definitely. Yeah, as, as we get closer to commercialization with our partners, there's definitely going to be a lot more, a lot more uh, getting out in the wild about different, different testing and, and playing around. Hope you like this video. Like and share this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more such videos. Thank you for watching.